Hi, I'm Lon Damon from Lincoln Electric, and this project spotlight for ARC Magazine is fabricating an outdoor hand railing for a building. As with any welding project, you need to think about safety. So I have a helmet, a do-rag, safety glasses, FR jacket, cotton clothing, MIG welding gloves, uh, and, we, and just in case we have a fire extinguisher handy. I have various tools for this project. We're going to start off with the Power MIG 210 MP. We'll be welding with the MIG process. I got my Mini Flex fume extractor to capture any fume. Later on, we're going to be going to some flux cord, NR211, uh, for some outdoor welding on the roof. The wire that we're using is an 035 L56 Lincoln brand. The gas that we're using is 7525, which is 75 argon, 25 CO2. And the material we're using is uh, mild steel, 10 gauge, square tubing. Okay, so the first step is getting all your material, material prepped. Um, everything's cut and ready to go. We cleaned off the mill scale with the grinder, make sure everything's squared. We have some Lincoln Electric uh, tools here, a mini multi-angle uh, unit here, and the pivot angle over here, just for to keep everything so it doesn't move. We're gonna tack weld a little bit to hold everything in place as we get all the other stiffeners in place so we can manipulate the project and then put all the rest of the pieces in and do the final welding later. Okay, so what we're gonna do is a little tack. Our mini flex unit actually is wired with the ground so it'll automatically turn on as soon as it senses voltage. So once I got a couple tacks in there, I could take this uh, mini angle off, set it off to the side. I'm gonna tack on the back side. And our settings are perfect. I set the machine up for 10 gauge 035. It's right in the middle. Wire feed speed and 18 volts. I just got the first piece tacked into the bottom part of the railing here. And now I'm gonna move to the next piece and attach to the bottom railing. A lot of people don't take the time to get all the mill scale off and the rust, which makes it harder to get the arc started with MIG welding. Now we moved over to the second piece here. I'm going to line it up to the marks I already have on the uh, material here. Use our little mini multi-angle. I'm going to use the uh, pivot angle here to help keep everything nice and straight. I already got it set at 90 degrees. So, and this thing is really nice and secure. It, it's hard to move, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, when I'm fabricating steel, I like to use the steel worker gloves. That's what they're made for, steel working. A uh, lot more dexterity. You're working with a tape measure, these uh, clamps and stuff and fitting up. So that's why I like to use these gloves. And now I'm gonna change back over to the MIG gloves and do some welding. I haven't really talked much about the uh, fume control, but the mini flex, the reason why I have it here is we're indoors and there's other people working in here. So we wanna capture all the fume that we're generating indoors. Do a little tack here. Okay, we're ready to move on to the next piece. Everything's nice and secure. Now we're gonna begin welding the top railing onto the pieces that we just tacked on with some tacks. Now I'm gonna just start moving right on down the opposite direction, tack welding the top piece on, top railing. Okay, we got everything tacked in to the bottom and top railing. Everything is uh, centered and straight and true, which we want. The next step is to grind all the mill scale off these um, half inch stocks. It's gonna be the middle railings in here. So we're gonna use the same system here with this pivot angle since I already have it here. Just pull it up, it clamps it down nice and secure. Now I can grind both ends simultaneously. Um, after we do this part, 
we got a made up jig here that we're going to place in here and that's what's going to give us the center points for each uh, bar stock. I'm actually putting a little bevel on this half inch stock so it'll get a little bit more fusion with the weld. All right, the next step is to place all the half inch stock in the middle part of the railing. And I've already made this uh, makeshift jig out of some scrap material that's already pre-measured. It's gonna save us a lot of time. When you're doing a lot of these, it'll seem effortless to keep moving productivity. So I place it on here like that. Everything's perfectly straight. I got the other side already attached. Um, and now we can place the stock in there, half, half inch uh, bar stock. Okay, everything's lined up. Ready to start tacking. Here we go. Love this welder. Love this welder. Okay, so we're gonna take the jigs off. You just gotta make sure you don't weld in, however you make your jig, you don't wanna weld into it because then you're gonna be grinding it off. So I just finished tacking up the first section of the half inch stock. We're gonna move into the second section here. I'm gonna clean off the uh, bar stock again, set up the jig, put the pieces in there, tack them in. And then we'll do the, the last section and then start welding. Once everything's in place tacked, we can go ahead and start welding so it will not move. We got everything tacked up. Everything's perfectly straight, ready to go for our next step. The next step is to weld on these pieces here. There's gonna be four of them where each straight line piece is all the way down. So my tack weld right here is kind of in the way a little bit. So I'm gonna grind a little bit of this, make it a little bit better fitting. I'm going to stick all these on here and start tacking these on. Okay, so I ground down the tack and everything's I, I, in the mill scale on the piece here. So everything fits nice and straight. For a backup to make sure it doesn't move while I'm welding and to make sure it's true, I'm going to use the multi the mini multi-angle here, I'm going to use two of them so I can get a nice straight fit on both sides. These are really cool if I haven't explained them, but they're off. They're not magnetic right now until you turn the switch. They don't move. So that's a perfect 90 degree joint. Now we're ready to tack weld it. Since this is such a large object, it's not very easy to flip upside down, flip it over, or whichever way you want to do it. Because we're going to be welding it in different positions. So this is an all position type machine. The wire MIG welding is all position. So I'm going to do some vertical down because it's 10 gauge. You'll get plenty of penetration out of that. We're going to do some horizontal welds. And then when we're all done on this side, we can flip it over and do the opposite. I can lay on my back and do the overheads, but at that point, it'd be so much easier to flip it over and just weld all those horizontal or flat. As you can see, we're up on the rooftop now. We're getting ready to join the two pieces, the corner pieces here, and it's really windy out. And so gas metal arc welding is not an option. So we're gonna change the machine over to flux core. Uh, so we had to change the rolls over, change the uh, wire and we don't have the gas bottle up here, which makes it convenient. So we're gonna just weld this all up and we'll be done for today. So we encountered a little bit of problem with the uh, rooftop being a little bit uneven. So um, there's a little bit of a mismatch here on this joint. So we're gonna do a little bit of fill, uh, fill in the gap. The top is actually a good matchup. I'm gonna come on to this outside joint, weld it up. inside vertical down. We'll chip it off so you can see what it looks like. I'm 
gonna hit this top. So this is really uneven under here. Uh, so I gotta fill a gap, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a little weave action. This was the Project Spotlight for ARC Magazine. Thank you for watching.